Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I wanted to do a product review um, to see if it really works. So I just recently purchased a new G7X, which I'm recording on now, um, and this is my old one. So the reason why I got a new one is because my old one doesn't really function correctly with the lens. Um, everything else works fine, but you just have to kind of pull it down. Also, a while back, I got sand, or not sand, but sawdust in here, and I was doing a DIY project, and I got too close. Um, it kind of messed it up, and I did a whole video on that about me trying to get it out. So I thought now that I have a new one, let's try to protect it somehow So I did a bunch of research and they do have cases and things like that But this one I thought was kind of cool. Um, it's a silicone cover So the back is a little bit exposed and it pretty much just goes over top of your camera as you can see Like it's really closed off and then in the back like it covers all the buttons and everything So it just makes it a little harder for dirt and like other things to get inside of it You know, it's not gonna be foolproof because it's not a full case but I just thought this was kind of cool because then if I drop it, um, you know, not to say it's not going to break it, but it'll keep it from getting like really scratched up and banged up. And I'm hoping this will just protect it a little bit. Now, I have a camera case, but I just don't use it because I find it annoying to like take it out and then put it back in, zip it shut. And then I have to just kind of hold it. Um, you know, they have the ones that hang around your neck, but I don't really like that either. So I wanted the freedom to just have my camera open and ready to go, but some sort of protection. So I thought this might be a good option. And it was only $14.99, so it's not super expensive uh, it came in about a week or so and I got it on Amazon so I will link it below in case you guys have a G7X and want something like this it comes in four colors so you can do this black one there's like a tan a green and a pink so I'm gonna put this on and then we're gonna test it to see if any of these like flaps and all these like button covers make sure everything works and it's not gonna like make it harder to use your camera um, I'm really really hoping it works out well because I love this idea and so I'm gonna be so bummed if it like doesn't work out so let's put it on and then we will test it out so this is the old g7x that i have and then here's the casing for it so it pretty much just sits on top of it and it's really easy to put together um, so on the back here you're just going to kind of slide it underneath but if you do have like this wrist thing on like i do you have to put that in first so we're just going to put this in the hole back here and then pretty much just slide that under like that it's just like a cell phone if you've ever had a cell phone like a silicone case for it and just pull that over and that's really it it just kind of sits on it and you may have to just make some some minor adjustments and move it around a little bit but that's how easy it is to put on like it literally just sits there and then this piece flips up and down and you can kind of like push it in so that's pretty much it all right so that went on really fast um, and I think it looks really nice actually. You can barely tell that there's something on. Wow, I got a lot of fingerprints on here. The first thing I'm gonna test is to make sure the lens comes out because that's obviously gonna be the biggest issue. Oh, cool. Um, but this is cool because there's, it's not, hello. Um, it's not blocking it at all. You can see like even with this little thing up, like it's not in the view at all. So that's kind of cool. I guess you don't have to take it off if you don't want to. So it just kind of closes down and then you can just push it in if you want to have it be sealed the next thing i want to test is the flash because if that gets stuck like i don't want it to break so we're going to test the flash so that looks like it works good okay and then can we close it no problem so we're also going to test the battery so that works good no issue and now the I, one of the more important things besides the lens is making sure that these little holes are not going to block the audio because I am really concerned about that. They do line up, but it looks like they're, it's kind of like this where it does line up, but it's just slightly over it. So I am concerned that the audio is not going to work and it's going to be like muffled and stuff, which would be a huge problem. But I could always cut the silicone to go around that because, um, you know, it's, it would be super easy to cut and it would still protect everything. All right, so I'm going to switch cameras so that we can see if the audio works and I'm going to do that right now. All right, so now I'm using the camera with the case. And I'm not sure how the audio is going to work until I get to the editing process. So hopefully you can hear me. But I did notice one potential problem. And I just realized that if the audio is not working, you didn't hear any of that. So good job, Kristen. I'm back to my new one now. But yeah, so one potential problem um, I'll show you is when you turn it on, when you go to flip this screen up, I don't know if you can see it on this side. So do you see how it keeps it keeps changing so now it's okay but see how it goes 
it's upside down and then it'll go to now it's upside down now it's normal now it's upside down so it just you have to make sure you really push it forward but it's see now it's staying it's fine it's like even if I bounce it around it looks like it's staying fine the other thing that I am wondering is if you don't want this flap on um, I noticed like it looks like it comes off the only problem is if you can see these buttons and then you look at these <laughs> it's totally different sizes so I'm not gonna be able to just snap these back in like that's not gonna stay so what I have to do is kind of stretch this rubber out and then I can get them back in so my recommendation would be to just leave it on because it doesn't affect it anyways and it kind of acts as like a little shield for your lens which is cool so I'm probably not gonna take this off ever but if you want to you definitely can and you know it opens just fine minus my stupid lens uh, but yeah so it works really good I'm very excited to use this. I think it looks really cool. It also is a lot easier to like grip, I feel like. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this case. And like I said, if you guys are interested in getting one for yourself, the link will be in the description below. But that's it for today's video, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you comment below so that I know you are here. And it's really important that if you wanna subscribe that you hit this bell as well, because there's been a lot of glitches with YouTube and you may not be notified about my new videos. So hitting this bell will ensure that you are notified when I upload a new video. So that's it for today, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.